Diabetes Prevention and Treatment for Senior. There is no cure for diabetes. But for the most part, diabetes cases are treated differently based on which type you have, due to your body's different needs, blood sugar levels, and health effects stemming from diabetic symptoms. Type 1 Treatment The main mode of treatment for type 1 diabetes is putting the insulin in your body yourself because your pancreas doesn't make it. This can be done two separate ways. Injections, this occurs via a needle or insulin pen. Pumps, attached to your body, the pump can slowly introduce insulin or rapidly do so without you having to inject yourself. When you have type 1 diabetes, you should also be constantly monitoring your blood sugar levels, eating healthy foods, and exercising to ensure that the insulin that is now present in your body through injection doesn't have to work harder to get the job done. As you age, it's even more vital that you pay attention to your blood sugar levels and stick to a strict treatment regimen. As one study points out, it may be more difficult for older adults to manage their type 1 diabetes because of the lack of mobility or cognition needed to help keep blood sugar levels in check. The study also noted that the earlier in life you are diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, the longer of a burden the disease can have while opening the door to other diabetes-related complications. Type 2 Treatment The primary step in type 2 diabetes treatment is getting your lifestyle and eating habits in order. Eating healthy and becoming more active, whether it's starting to take walks or signing up for a class, are important steps in maintaining your blood sugar levels. There are medical means that can help regulate blood sugar levels, too. These include Metformin, Ozempic, and Vigovi. This is the primary type 2 diabetes medication used to help adjust blood sugar levels, as long as your diabetes hasn't advanced enough to cause kidney failure, heart issues, or other severe health issues. While metformin, Ozempic and Vigovi have also been shown to cause you to lose weight, taking this medication should be done alongside exercise plans and healthy eating so you can keep the weight off once done with the medication. Insulin Therapy Some with type 2 diabetes need help getting their insulin levels back on track and working the right way. Like type 1 diabetes, this function can be done through injections or pumps. The type of insulin, and how long you need it, can be determined by your doctor. When you have type 2 diabetes, you should be taking aforementioned A1C tests several times a year, so you can see how your blood sugar levels are progressing at a very detailed measure. While it is technically possible to reduce blood sugar levels back to normal or pre-diabetic levels, the most important thing to do when you've reached this level is maintain the regimen that got you to those better levels. This will help keep blood sugar levels low and minimize the damage done from the previous years. One study hosted people with diabetes and instituted a new lifestyle plan that addressed their issues. The subjects exercised for at least 175 minutes a week, about 25 minutes a day, ate between 1,200 and 1,800 calories a day, and continuously received therapy and information about how to maintain a healthy lifestyle. 10% of the people with diabetes were able to get off their medication after a year and had blood sugar levels that were no longer in the diabetic range. It's also important, from the doctor's end, to watch out how strictly seniors with diabetes are being treated. For instance, seniors' A1C levels may be around 6.5, a level normally considered to be on the cusp of diabetic. However, 
It's important seniors' blood sugar levels don't drop dangerously low due to the risk of hypoglycemia, which can immediately cause more severe health effects, coma, fainting, etc., and heighten the risk of mortality. Disordered Eating and Older Adults Eating disorder symptoms can be severe at any age, but they can have an especially dire impact on the health of elderly people. Malnourishment from these diseases can impact elderly patients who are already susceptible to low bone density, muscle wasting, and immune system issues. Anorexia and other related conditions can exacerbate these problems. Causes of disordered eating in older adults Physical health problems Physical health problems can lead to some types of eating disorders in older people. For example, diabetes, certain types of cancers, dementia, heart disease, liver or kidney problems, digestive system infections, or thyroid issues can cause a loss of appetite. Mental health problems Mental health problems like depression can also cause a loss of interest in self-care, including normal hygiene and eating. Somewhere between 1 to 5% of older adults suffer from depression, though instances are three times higher for those requiring home health care or hospitalization. Depression treatment methods such as medication, and any other types of mental health counseling can alleviate symptoms and, if they are the root cause of malnourishment, bring the patient's appetite back. Stress Stress can cause both a loss of appetite and overeating. Emotional overeating is an attempt to alleviate the symptoms of anxiety or depression by consuming excessive amounts of food. By dining continuously, emotional eaters can temporarily distract themselves from nervousness or unpleasant feelings. Social factors Social factors can play a role in the development of eating disorders. People of all ages might feel they have to lose weight to achieve a look that their peers find acceptable or attractive. This social pressure can lead to crash dieting, unhealthy exercise patterns, or the development of eating disorders like anorexia nervosa and bulimia. Treating Disordered Eating Eating disorders require a balanced, holistic treatment plan involving mental health therapy, education about lifestyle changes, and new dietary habits. You may also need to treat any conditions developed as a result of the disorder. Mental Health Care Mental health care is an essential component for the treatment of conditions like anorexia nervosa and emotional overeating. It can also be helpful for general anorexia caused by depression or stress. Cognitive behavioral therapy is often effective in treating eating disorders with a mental health component. This approach seeks to retrain the way the patient thinks about their issues and provide thought-based coping mechanisms that can alleviate the compulsive need to eat or avoid food. The advantage of this treatment is that it does not require medication, and it is effective either in person or through online therapy providers. In cases involving depression, anxiety, or excessive social pressures, doctors may prescribe antidepressants along with CBT therapy. Nutritional Education and Diet In many cases, education about proper nutrition can help fight eating disorders. With the correct information, 
seniors can develop practices to achieve and maintain a healthy weight. A healthy diet can improve energy and enhance immune functions, which can positively impact mental health and deal with chronic depression. Studies have shown that disordered eating is still a problem among the elderly just as it is a problem among younger generations. However, with a combination of mental health therapy and education, it is possible to treat eating disorders, reverse or limit symptoms, and improve the patient's quality of life. Hobbies and activities that can help older adults make friends. If you are trying to stay happy and healthy as you age, then you must stay connected, spend time with friends, and build your social network and support system. However, for many older adults, it can be hard to make new friends. For much of our lives, friends are made at school or work. When a person reaches retirement age, they don't have these avenues to make new friends, and may be struck with feelings of isolation and loneliness. There are several notable benefits of being social, including a longer lifespan and a lower risk of experiencing depressive moods. From outdoor activities to continued education, there are a variety of ways that older adults can connect with people and make new friends. Gardening Gardening provides older adults with a chance to get fresh air, sunshine, and light exercise. It also opens up opportunities for social interaction. If you are interested in gardening, you can join a gardening club or volunteer your time at a community garden. This will allow you to spend time with other people who share your interests. In addition, joining a gardening club or a gardening class may help you learn more about how to care for and nurture different plants. You can conduct research on the internet, look at social media sites like Facebook, or talk with the staff at your local library or community center to find group gardening activities in your area. Bird watching. If you are trying to spend more time outside or work more exercise into your weekly routine, then you might want to consider bird watching. There are bird watching groups all around the world and these groups allow you to make new friends and learn more about wildlife in your area. Bird watching is a fantastic outdoor activity for seniors. It allows you to move around without high levels of stress. Even better, you might end up getting coffee with a new friend when your bird watching is done. Book or movie clubs. For any bibliophile or movie connoisseur, book and movie clubs are a great way to make new friends while discussing pieces of work you're passionate about. It allows for open debate, the sharing of common interests, and quite a bit of socializing. Art classes. Arts and crafts can help older adults explore their creative side. If you want to learn a new skill, brush up on an old skill, and meet other creative people, art classes are a fun option. Exercise classes Exercise and socialization are both parts of living a healthy life, and luckily, these two can be easily combined. Exercise classes, in particular, have a variety of benefits including, become more flexible, strengthen your body, reduce stress, improve energy levels. If you sign up for a group fitness class, especially one geared towards older adults, then you will be able to make friends your age and enjoy low-impact exercises. Some options for low-impact exercise include, yoga, water aerobics, cycling, dancing. These exercises allow you to improve with movement, coordination, and overall function without risking any kind of serious injury. Choose one class you are interested in, or try more than one. There is no limit to the fun you can have at your local gym, senior center, or recreation center. Travel Travel is an amazing way to get out of your comfort zone, experience new cultures, and make friends. 
Two ways to travel and socialize are through group tours and cruise lines. Group tours are often booked in advance and led by a tour guide. A group tour may take two hours, such as a tour of a museum, or an entire day, such as a bus tour around a city or island. These tours allow you to spend time with other tourists and make plans with new friends. Thank you.